So a number of people have asked how to determine how much ethanol is in your gasoline. Is it really 10%? So I was curious if it really is 10% uh, ethanol by volume. We have 100 mLs of 89 octane gasoline. And over here, we have 10 mLs of distilled water. A rule of thumb in chemistry is like will dissolve in like. Um, polar uh, liquids will dissolve in polar liquids, and nonpolars will dissolve in nonpolars. Gasoline is a nonpolar solvent, while uh, water is polar. Ethanol is interesting. Because of its methyl group, it has a nonpolar end, and because of its hydroxyl group, it has a polar end. So ethanol is miscible in both gasoline and water. Because of the uh, polar aspect of water, it will attract the ethanol more than the gasoline will. So if we put water in gasoline that has ethanol dissolved in it, the water should pull the ethanol out. Now the question is how to determine what the true volume of ethanol is. Um, one part ethanol by volume plus one part water by volume does not exactly equal two parts. Um, because of molecular packing, you know, the way the molecules come together, the total volume is a little bit less than two. But for our purposes, uh, we'll assume it's close enough to get a rough idea uh, how much ethanol is really in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the gasoline with the water in this container, shake it up, and then I'll pour it in here. The gasoline will be on the top because it is less dense than the water, while the water ethanol mixture will be on the bottom. 10 mLs will be the water that we added. And whatever is extra should be the amount of ethanol that it pulled out of the gasoline. And that amount divided by our 100 mL initial volume will be a rough percentage of the volume of ethanol that was in our gasoline mixture. So let's see uh, how this all works out. Here's our water, 10 mLs. Almost bought the farm on that one. Here is 100 mLs of gasoline 89 octane. Now we're going to shake it up so the water mixes. and gets to get exposed to where all that ethanol might be hiding in the mixture. If I just poured it right in, the water is not gonna come in contact with the entire volume of gasoline and it's gonna miss some of the ethanol. Now, if I wanna be a purist about this, I'd probably let this sit for several hours, but I just want a rough and dirty estimate To make it easy to pour in, I'm just going to use a cup and then pinch the end so it spills in more easily. Let's see what happens. So here, you can see there is a line. This is the interface. Now there's probably 
a water this is water, you know, gasoline, and probably somewhere near it might be a little bit of a gasoline ethanol interface. But here's the first 10 cc's. This was 10 mLs of water, and this is not miscible in gasoline. So this is our initial water. And what I'm seeing here is an additional 7 cc's. which means there was about seven cc's out of the hundred of ethanol. So this gasoline mixture is somewhere around 7% ethanol. This is a simple method to determine how much ethanol really is in the gasoline that you're buying at your local fuel station. I hope this was helpful. Watch my channel for other interesting videos. Thanks.